Hello, this is Ryan with Can Do Printing, and today I'm going to show you how to design a simple pocket folder using Illustrator. The first thing you're going to need is a die line. You can get a die line from our website by clicking Pocket Folder Die Lines over here under Support. On this page we have many die lines you can choose from and use as templates for your artwork. I'm just going to keep it simple and choose our standard die line. Now save this die line to your desktop. Close the window and then launch Illustrator. Open the file you just saved to your desktop. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our document color mode is in CMYK, not RGB. You can check it right here at the top. Now let's resize our window so we have a little more room to work. Hit Command-0 to zoom in if you're on a Mac. Or you can click View, then find Fit Artboard in Window to do the same thing. Now, I only want business card slits on the inner left side pocket, so I'm going to delete the slits from the right pocket. To do this, grab the Single Select tool, come down here and highlight the two slits you want to delete. Notice they're highlighted because they're blue, not red. Press delete, and now we are going to lock down our die line so we don't accidentally modify or delete it. Select all and go to object lock selection. Notice that I can't highlight or drag the die line now. To create a background color, you're going to use the rectangle tool. Start your rectangle an eighth inch above and to the left of your die line and drag it to the same in the lower right. This creates an eighth inch bleed around all the edges to account for movement of paper. Bleed ensures that no unprinted edges occur in the final trim document. To fill in the color of this rectangle, go to the color palette in the upper right hand corner. Click on the fill box, which is the box with a red line through it because right now our rectangle is transparent. To change the fill color, adjust the percentage levels of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. For a nice dark, rich black, I'm going to enter 60, 50, 40, and 100. This gives us a nicer build black for printing over just entering in 100% black. Now click on the stroke box and make it transparent so we don't see a red border around our rectangle. Now let's move our rectangle to the bottom layer so we can see everything else on top of it. Just drag the path that is the rectangle all the way down to the bottom. Wait till you see the arrow at the very bottom and let go. Now we're all done with this layer so we can go ahead and lock it down. You can also do this by clicking over here where we just drug the path. Now I'm going to import our CanDo printing logo to put on the front of the folder. Click File, Open, then choose which file you want to import. You can drag and drop the image anywhere you want on the folder. You can also adjust the location and size of the image mathematically using the transform palette. Or if you prefer, you can use the mouse and drag it to any size you want. And now I'm going to import our logo again and place it on the pocket. Any image you place on the pockets need to be rotated 180 degrees, so when the pocket is folded up on the inside, the image will be orientated right side up. Now I'm going to add our website to the back of our folder. Select the text box tool, which is the T over here on the left, and drag a text box where you want the text to be. Go up to the color palette and click the fill box, which in this case will be the color of our text, and select the color you want. I'm going to choose white so it shows up well on my black background. Click back in the text box and type candoprinting.com. You can adjust the style of the text at the top. I'm going to center it, then I'll change the size to 24 point. And I think we're all done. That looks great. Now it's time to save our document. Go to File, Save As. Make sure the format is an Adobe PDF. And then you can go ahead and name it whatever you'd like and click Save. Now there are a lot of options in how you can save your PDF. I'm just going to go over some of the more important things to look out for. These settings will make sure your file is optimum for printing. 
Let's just start off with one of Adobe's presets, high quality print. These are the general settings. Let's just leave these alone for now. Click on compression. In this section, it goes over how you want to downsample some of the larger size images. And by larger size, I mean higher quality. We are going to make sure it doesn't reduce the quality too much and change these to 400 dpi. Next is marks and bleeds. This refers to adding things like marks and bleeds to the outside of our artboard. Since I created bleeds already within the artboard, we're going to skip this section. In the output section, you can attach a color profile. In this case, that's not really needed. So on to security. In security, you can set locks and permissions and stuff like that on your PDF. And we don't want you to do that, so just hit Save PDF and you're all done. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching another Can Do Printing video tutorial. If you need help uploading a file or purchasing your order, you can watch our other how-to videos.